Out of this 25-minute heat, Isabella Sosa now in a commanding lead. Emma Cobb with only... Uh, okay, uh, Emma. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Catarina Sosa Look going on wave. that wave. Oh, oh, no. Just getting a little bit behind the that section. Total mistiming right there from... Mistiming, uh, yeah. From Caterina Sosa. So we have uh, four heats and coming up next. My love and Turin. Getting ready. Getting ready. Focus. Myla from Brazil in the red jersey. Mayumi Tone from Japan in the yellow jersey. And Maira Viana from Brazil in blue jersey. Coming up. Heat number six. No, sorry. Heat number 23. Hit number three, round six. <laughs> oh, sorry. We'll explain real quick. What you yeah. see on your screen, round number six, heat 23. That's the 23rd heat in the women's division. But it is actually uh, the third heat of round number six that will be coming up with Myla Venturin in the red jersey, getting ready to go out there. And um, the, everybody's posting their, uh, their own opinions on what that should have been. But you know what? Um, a lot of people were pretty much on target, and yes. I agree with the, the first person, David Soriano, saying a 9.5 or a 10 if she came out with a backflip, maybe yeah, an yeah. ARS to finish yes, off. But yeah. uh, a good call by the judges, and yes, a good call yeah. by you guys, the viewers and girls tuning in from all over the world. Thank you guys for uh, being a part of this. Yeah. Thing. Canto Pro brought to you by CPuertoRico.com. I think it's just nice to see the girls going for different maneuvers and barrels and you know, deeper. And this wave is one of the perfect ways for us, uh, you know, for the whole tour. We can show a little bit more than the usual stuff, yeah. you know, that you see. Why um, is that, though? Is it because uh, the wave co it allows for that? Is it, I mean, because it's shallow out there. I mean, I've yeah. I went swimming yesterday and it, it's all reef with some yes, barnacles yeah. and some yeah. reef heads out there. So it's not the, sh uh, the shallow part. It's, it's just perfect. Well, I think it's just a perfect, I mean, it's good for bodyboarding and the size is uh, you know one of those sizes that are you know from two feet to you know it handles here I don't know how big but it handles eight feet I'm not sure but and the girls train in all conditions you know it's good for us to show that we we go out there in anything and um, we're just trying those maneuvers maybe you know not as much as the men's because they pull that you know backflips and ARS's and airs the whole time, but but I think we're getting there. So no, that's what good. do you mean? You are there. You just did a massive ARS <laughs> to get a ten point ride a couple of days ago. You guys, uh, the the <laughs> ladies are totally there. And uh, you know what? I do have to admit, I am a little upset, a little pissed off that I wasn't invited to go shoot and video that Indonesia trip with. Uh, I know you many and so, Ate. so I'm gonna put you on um, probation for a couple of days. No, wait. We're gonna go in a <laughs> this year. We're gonna go somewhere. Okay, yes. we'll we'll do a surf trip with. Well I, yes. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have my uh, tours that I, I have a uh, FFATtrips.com um, that I do do bodyboard trips to Cabo San Lucas, Costa Rica, yeah. Indonesia. So you tell me which one of those you want to go on and we'll make sure we'll try to make it happen. Oh, okay. Well, all three of them? Okay. <laughs> uh, I think we are. Indonesia looks good. Cabo San Lucas looks good. And what's the next one? Uh, the third one? The third one is Mexico, uh, Indonesia, and Costa Rica. Oh, Costa Rica. Yes, yeah. Costa Rica will be going down in May, I believe, before okay. or after the uh, Chile event. So uh, I need to get the list uh, of the. the the Grand Slam series, see okay. what those dates are, and then I'm going to work around that. But Costa Rica for sure is on the list. Uh, we're going to go back uh, to Cabo, Indonesia. We're going back to Indonesia. And Masatlan. We're going to have a Masatlan Freak Fest, uh, I think, oh, in September. Nice. That'll be yeah. pretty mental. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, once mm. again, welcome to the Encanto Pro, brought to you by SeaPuertoRico.com. Currently out in the water is the second heat, but uh, coming up next, you're going to see my... Mayumi Tone, she's coming up in heat number three of round number six. But currently okay. the situation out in the water with five minutes and 30 seconds remaining. We are uh, refreshing our scores here. And it Ka looks like... Um, Katarina Souza needs a 2.31 to go to second. Mm -hmm. um, Emma Cobb needs a... She needs uh, a nine. She is on second, of course. She needs a 9.25 to go to first. And Isabella Souza with a pretty good um, lead on that on this heat with an 8.75 and a 5.88, which is a 
6-3, scoring two waves. Okay, a little bit of catch up. Emma and Katarina needs to do to get to that lead position. Two girls advance and the waves went flat a little oh bit. My gosh. That's yeah, always you know, a that's the hardest thing that's to always handle. A test. That's when yeah. the nerves start setting in. It's yeah. you sit out there and you're waiting. Do you do you paddle on the inside to get get another wave, or do you just wait outside for the bigger waves, and then you throw in the priority factor? Uh, who has priority? Who uh, who's got the the edge yeah. on the priority? I don't know if uh, the camera guys can zoom in on that priority box, the priority system boxes on yeah, the beach, so we can um, show you what the priority system is all about. But the priority system is in place starting from this point on, and uh, it's, it's essentially saying, okay, you've caught the first wave, you're going to have the last priority, yeah, and so on. And, okay, perfect. Okay. Yo-Yo uh, and um, other staff member. Well, a nice suit by Actually, Luz Marie. Yeah, it's pretty but, pretty uh, one. If yellow jersey has priority one. So if you look at these boxes, yeah, uh, Carla sees the yellow on the very top box. Yes. That means yellow has first priority. The yellow, who is currently out in the water right now, is Emma, Emma Cobb. Cobb. Emma Cobb has the decision, the choice to catch any wave she wants. Yeah. Uh, the other two riders cannot get in her way or they will be penalized. Yes. Second yeah. priority. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shaka. Second priority is in red. You can see the red color on the second box. Katarina uh, Sosa. Yeah. Katarina Sosa. Whatever wave Emma doesn't want, Katarina is first in line to pick whatever wave she wants. So yes. they're going to be sticking together because uh, it, it, if Emma doesn't catch a, salt, a good wave, then Katarina can catch that wave. Yes. Katarina right now is in a good position. She doesn't have last priority, but she is losing time. Three minutes remaining. She All she needs is a 2.13 to get into the second place spot yes. and advance on. So yeah. Emma Cobb, only one wave. So she needs a second wave to get further away from Katarina in the red jersey. Yeah. So Emma Cobb in the yellow jersey, she only has one wave on her scorecard. She needs that second wave. Yeah. Two waves will be scored, and she only has one. That's not that's not good coming down to the last two minutes. No, two minutes to go. I think basically they both need anything. Yeah. You know, any any scoring wave um, would get the, get them through the next round. So it's r really going to be a tough few, uh, tough, tough last minutes for yeah. Catalina Souza, especially. And Emma Cobb is in the second, but anything can change. Isabella Souza having a pretty good lead in, in this heat. So I think she sits comfortable in the, in the first right now. But you know, anything can happen. Two minutes, it's a lot of time. <laughs> I know. its uh, We saw Jones Russell. I always keep uh, talking about Jones Russell, but he went through the trials, and there was two heats yeah. where he was down in the last 30 seconds. Oh, no. Two times, back-to-back. -back, and yeah. uh, uh, one of those was um, uh, Colomo. Uh, Colomo. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he was in those heats, and he thought he had a, he had a, the advancement mark, but oh. Jones Russell came in in the last 30 seconds, got that wave and got those points to get into that second place position and oh, move on. Okay. He went through that anxiety twice. Now, look at yeah. this. We got the paddle battle of the two people going for that second place position. It is Emma Cobb Emma and, Cobb and Katarina. Katarina Sosa. Oh, my. Keep your eyes on the screen. This is pretty intense right now. Yeah. What's One going on? One minute to go. One minute to go. So tough. Emma needs that second wave. Uh, Katarina only needs a 2.31 wave. Oh, so right now, Katarina could totally take out Emma Cobb. All she needs is a 2.31. Oh. Yeah. And Emma just needs to catch to hold off Katarina. Yes. But if I was Emma, I would just stay on Katarina and not let Katarina catch another wave. That's the priority system. Yeah, but that you can't do that. That's that's what you can't sit on. Actually, you can't look like you really. <laughs> you know, you yeah. can, but you can't really not show the judges that you're really on top of the. You know, trying to prevent her to get a wave. Look at this. Isabella Souza found someone some some waves and. Nice clean air as for Isabella Souza. Just kicking out of that one. Oh, Emma getting another wave, which we it doesn't show what she did before. So I can't really comment on that. Ten seconds to go. Oh Seventeen no seconds. No. That that's a 
Oh, okay, two peaks. So Emma's oh, going for a roll. Emma had priority. On the right. She had priority. She's hitting that roll. Okay. Oh, my. I can hear nice the horn reverse. in the background. That was tough for Katarina Souza. Oh, no. She's supposed to be coming in for round number six, heat number four commentating. And unfortunately,